Right now at 6 o'clock, this familiar St. Augustine seawall can no longer stand the test of time, according to state experts. The State Department of Transportation says it is time for the seawall, which is decades old, to be replaced to improve safety. News for Jack's reporter Tiffany Salome shows us what could be changing and walks us through the construction plan. This is the seawall that FDOT is hoping to replace. These chain barriers have been around here in St. Augustine for as long as I can remember. Now, the proposal would replace the seawall from just south of the Bridge of Lions all the way to Charlotte Street, which is just before the Castillo de San Marcos. So why does the seawall need to be replaced? A 2022 inspection revealed extensive deterioration. How old is that seawall? The seawall is uh, decades old. It's from the 1960s, I've learned. So, wow. um, yes. And you'll see photos of, you know, the interior of the seawall and stuff. We've we've done some studies and we've uh, we've determined it's nearing the end of its service life. Construction on a new seawall wouldn't start until 2026. But here's what that process would look like. First, crews would install steel sheet pipes and remove the existing sloped pavement that you see closer to the Bridge of Lions. They would then fill the space between the existing seawall and those steel sheet pipes, leveling the sidewalk. This would happen in 150 foot increments. North of the Bridge of Lions, most of the construction would happen waterside, so people would still be able to enjoy walking along the water, but there would be no more elevated pavement. Once the sidewalk is complete, crews would start building a three and a half foot pedestrian barrier. Are you worried at all about the aesthetics? I know that uh, the wall would, you know, block the view of the water a little bit. Well, it will just be a little bit. I think most of the view of the water will be seeable even from cars or the carriages or from the restaurants. I've been here now 25 years in this neighborhood and uh, we were flooded three times and then nor'easters come in and I have some stories about all of that. But anything is better than being flooded. It's just an awful situation to lose property and so forth. A new seawall is already in place here south of the Bridge of Lions. You can see it's about waist high, so you'll still be able to look out and see the water. This gives you a good idea of what will replace those old chains and posts. Reporting in St. Augustine, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station. If you'd like to weigh in on the new proposed seawall along A1A there in St. Augustine, FDOT is hosting an open house tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. St. Augustine City Hall. A presentation will happen at 6 p.m.